dealers, man, Hot uh, Davis, and I'm rocking my dog Serato. You see me just did come to That's a shoot shoe right there. He, look, he ain't come to disappoint you. I'm in disbelief right now. I'm wearing the hot shoe, man. You man, you should win this. What's good, people? It's your boy Serato back at you one more time again, and we got a little bit of a new subject matter this time. Um, working with the same Kyrie 5 Oreos again. This is like the best, I mean, close to the best version of Kyrie 5 you can get to actually customize because of the white, you know. But yeah, we're doing some fairly odd pairings. Um, my boy Michi hit me and told me he needed those. You know, he's, a, he's, a, he's an Ohio State commit or whatever, so we're gonna do them in a nice red colorway or something like that. Get some other stuff he asked for on the shoe, and uh, that's about it. So give you a better look at these bad boys here, and then we're gonna hop right into it. All right, so the Kyrie 5 features an all attack angle, new cushion technology that aligns with the curved shape of the outsole and gives you rapid response and return of energy with every move. The outsole is curved and wraps up the sides and helps maintain traction as you roll through your stride. The engineered mesh is breathable, flexible, and supportive and has a fly trap inspired overlay that works by clamping down on your midfoot when you lace up so you stay locked in with every move, just like Kyrie. Hopefully this will let you get in your bag, but you know, that's up to you. As you guys know, of course, the first step is to delace the shoe, prep it, acetone it down, uh, put some adhesion promoter on it, and tape it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all that off camera real quick just to speed up the process so we can get to the good stuff. All right, so I got that pretty much taken care of. It's all maxed off, ready to go. So on to the next step, which is going to be to conceptualize the design. Now, he actually sent me a whole list here. Boom, there you go. Okay, so we got the Fairly Odd Parents. That's obvious. You know, we've got Ohio State Commit, so we're going to throw that on there. Bad News is a nickname. You know, obviously his real name. Favorite Bible verse and R.I.P. Kiki. So I'm thinking the Bible verse and R.I.P. Kiki will go on the midsole here. Uh, Ohio State and the Bad News nickname will be on the insides of the shoe on each side, according to, you know, blah, blah. I'll probably put his full name on it, inside or whatever, and then put the Bad News corresponding on each inside toe box right here where that's masked off on that side and then uh the free eye parents will be a full scene right here on the so outside i basically just need to go ahead and uh pull my laptop out do the designs print out my reference materials for the shoe you know resize them all down and uh get my stencils put in the machine so they can be cut and ready to go for when i get to them on the shoe and as always this video is brought to you by my guys over at apparel they are the chain gang over there and they hook me up with all my ice um, they do a lot of custom pieces for me, but you guys can order stuff for yourselves as well. Just use my code, okay? It is Serato Crew. It's right there on the screen for you. Use my code. Go to the website there. Cop some pieces. You know, be a little bling bling loud on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Grab some. So to get started on the actual painting process here, I'm gonna need to go ahead and white out these swooshes and add on our base layer stencils uh, before I paint over the white. But before I even do that, I'm gonna need to actually lay down the character outlines and then fill those outlines in with some white paint to cover up this black spots behind the mesh. All right, so now I've got the background done, I'm gonna go ahead and do these logos here, which um, basically are gonna be red logos on a red shoe. So I need to add some dimension to that, some depth to that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a black shadow behind the lettering and apply some new stencils over top um, before I do that to give some kind of back and forth, you know, bring some different reds in and out. And uh, I feel like that'll give it a real nice look and then do a little bit of a red uh, overlay on the inside of this Ohio State logo. Then I can go ahead and just jump right into these portraits. 